welcome back and i hope you might have registered for loan and your mail id has been verified by the loan so now in this video we will talk about how to use the loom for recording of the videos in the previous videos i discussed with you that there are two platforms that you can use for the loom recording purpose the first purpose is the desktop app and the second is the extension now in this video i will talk about how to use the chrome extension for the recording of the videos now this version is very useful when you aim to teach either through the browser means you want to demonstrate something in the browser or you want to use any document from your desktop so once you will log into the loom you will land on this very page so just to begin with click on new video and here you can see we have number of options let me explain about these options first so the very first option for the recording purpose is screen plus cam now what does it mean it means you will record both of the things whatever is there on the screen plus your camera and you can see on my left hand side camera is also being recorded here you can increase the size of the camera if you want and we have few more options to start or to stop the videos from here the second option is about the screen only as the name suggests in this case only screen will be recorded not your camera but here you will see your image will come but still if you don't want that your image should come in the screen then you can go to the advanced options and just uncheck this option use photo for screen only just uncheck this one and now your even photo will not be recorded along with your lecture but let us make it on and the third option is the cam only so as the name suggests in this case your camera will be recorded nothing else will be recorded on your screen so but uh, for a teacher this option is most useful where you can record your any tab of the browser or any document from your desktop along with your camera so here we are just ready to start the recording now what i have planned that i will teach to my student uh, this lecture on that how to work with the mailchimp for the marketing purpose here so just go back to your main window and click on start recording the moment you will click on start recording it will ask you whether you want to record the entire screen or you want to record a particular application for this one so it is up to you what you want to record but it is always preferred to go for entire screen select this one and click on share now 3 2 1 now my recording has been started here now whatever i will speak it is being recorded by the loan but my purpose is not to record this screen so i will click here so okay so this is my lecture where i will teach you or i want to teach my student at how to create the mailchimp id or how to use the mailchimp for the marketing purposes so whatever i will demonstrate here in this page that will be recorded along with my audio as well as my camera here once you are completed with your session you have to just stop it just to stop your video just click on this green sign here and before that in between if you want to pause the video you can pause that as well but here i have recorded this lecture so let me just click on finish one okay so my video is recorded and it is right here in the loom now here we have few things that you have to do uh, the very first thing that you have to change the name of your video uh, for example in this case this is my lecture 1 it was on mail chim okay and let me just play this video for you and you can see what i taught it is recorded in the video format okay so now you can see so my lecture is being recorded here but you might have noticed that in the beginning there was unnecessary part which i don't want to include in the lecture so actually i want that my lecture should start somewhere from here now this is the unnecessary part here which i want to remove from my video so that is very simple what you can do you can use this trim function click on this trim click on start trimming take these two side 
by just dragging and dropping that up to which part you want to cut the video so i want to trim the video let us say from here now this part i want to trim i don't want this part in my video so just click on this remove button here click on this one it will automatically trim that part and you have to just publish the things and similarly if anything anywhere in between your video you want to trim by using these two buttons just trim that part trim that part and click on the remove and your video will be trimmed accordingly and don't forget to click on publish the changes so now it will take some time to finalize your video now see here now my video is directly starting from where i want now the next question is how to share this video with the students now there are two possible ways to share this video with your students either you can use this link just copy this link and share it with your students and they will be able to watch your video the second way is just download this video and you can send directly this video to your students so this way we have recorded our first video and that you can share with your students but there is one problem in the very first method the problem is if i want to record this ppt I want to record this PPT using the loom you will be able to record this as well but in this case your camera will not be recorded simultaneously along with your PPT that is the only limitation now if you want to use the camera along with your PPTs for this purpose you have to use the desktop app for the loom that we will discuss in the next video so thank you so much for being with me so just be tuned in for more updates on Rome and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.